I'm going to practice decision making by doing some Charleston modeling for American style Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you don't know how to play this version yet, there's a link below the video to a lesson playlist. If you have a card, follow along. If you have a set, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps with your confidence. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We'll say that we are east for this exercise, so we'll get 14 tiles and then set up a mock Charleston. Ooze. We have ooze and flowers. I'm thinking we should play Winds and Dragons with all these flowers. If we can get some dragons, we might be able to do one of the first two hands. Not a lot of news on the card for 2018. So let's see about passing something in one of each suit. I want to be left with a good pass. So let's see if we can, let's pass. Yeah, I think it's kind of six, one half dozen the other. Okay, here we go. We're going to pass these three. No dragons, no dragons. Oi, we could play a news pair hand. We do have three tiles to pass, so we really don't have to pick a hand. There's a north and a dragon. North and south with red, east and west with dragons. Let's pass these three. Dragon. We have tiles we can pass. Let's put it even out in there with an odd. No keepers, but we do have tiles we can pass. There's a keeper, maybe, and a dragon. Let's see, east and west with green, joker bait. That's kind of what I'm thinking. East and West. Okay, because I do not like passing a white, especially with a year tile. So I think we can probably go ahead and commit and give up the North. Let's hope for a West. No, we got a Joker. Not helpful. Oh, we've got Joker bait. Okay. Although we need to still pass optional cross. Here we go. I don't think there's anything in here, but we'll go through the motions. No keepers. Yeah, we got a lot of discards. Look at all those six discards. But we can Kong. We need east and west. We got our pair secured, so any number of jokers we can use. So probably, I probably would discard these first. The likelihood of getting jokers with number tiles is greater than the likelihood of getting jokers with winds and dragons. That is what I've found on this year's card anyway. Okay, so if you would have done anything differently, write random pull one and what you would have done for these tiles. We'll go on to the next one.
All right, now we have threes and sixes. I think we should play three, six, nine. That would use both multiples. There's our three, six, nine. Just gather every three, six, nine and go through the Charleston until you run out of discards. So let's give up the south, an even, and an odd. Let's break that up so we have different suits for another pass. We'll pass these three. Nine, we got a nine, very nice. Okay, we've got a nine. Now, we'll keep going. You don't have to pick a hand. Just gather every three, six, nine, including flowers and dragons, because there are some options there. So let's pass an east, an odd, and an even. Now here, we're left with like numbers. I don't want to do that, so let's swap that out. Actually, instead of a one, two, let's pass a one, four. This is going to be a little bit risky for our next pass, but we could get tiles that we can discard with our next pass. Oh, we got a nine. Nice. Now, north, seven, two. This, I think, is the perfect pass. Wind, odd, even, far apart. We got a six. Still don't have to pick a hand, we're just gathering. So now, let's pass odd. Actually, I don't want to pass a 1-8. We're already passing a 2-8 for a year category, but we're narrowing in on our own options, so I want to stay flexible. We got a 9. We have tiles to pass, so we still don't have to pick a hand. We're going to pass these three. We still don't have to pick a hand because we have tiles to pass. We got a three. We have two tiles to pass. Now we pick a hand. Here we have three, six, nine pairs. I think we should probably play either the three, six, nine pair hand. We got three, six, nine right here. Or we could play the 369 concealed hand under the 369 category, or the third hand down, pair, 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 Kong, Kong. That's pretty light, so I think either the concealed hand, where we'd have to give up a six dot, or the pair hand, where we're, we got a gap, a gap with no flowers. But we can pass these three for optional cross. No keepers. Three discards. Three, six, nine. That was a pretty good Charleston. We have only three discards. I try to get to four or less. So we have options. Maybe even a pair hand here. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write random pull two and what you would have done. We're going to go on to the last one. Okay, so for this one, we do have Green Dragon, 2-Bam. We don't have any flowers, though, so that's going to be hard. But I think maybe we could even play 5-7-9 with dragons. We have two tiles to pass. Let's go ahead and give up the north. I was thinking maybe we could do a quint, but we only have one joker. Let's focus on either consecutive run or big odds. Okay, now we have a flower and one, two, three multiples. You got to use the most of your multiples. So in this case, I think we need to break these up and focus 
on big odds. Now this is going to be a pretty risky pass here, but I think it's worth it because we have no gaps. There's two keepers. Tiles to pass. This hand is actually made. This would be the concealed hand under odds. Last one. Five, seven, nine, dragon. Tiles to pass. No keepers. That's a good pass. No keepers. Now, I would not pass like numbers. I would break that up and pass two. I believe in passing defensively. Whoa, look at that. We got Joker bait. So, five, seven, nine, dragon. And we could use this to kind of help out. Three away, which I think is really, really good. That was a very successful Charleston. Those last two were great. Less than four discards. If you have a set at home, I hope you give this exercise a try. And I hope it helps you with your confidence when making decisions with the Charleston. If you don't have a set at home, there's a link below the video to one that I recommend. It's always nice to have your own set so you can practice at home. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston modeling for American Style Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.